Hey everyone, Merrick here, we're back in the wonderful world of Endless Spurs, and you know what? We won our first battle last time, actually our first two battles, but we kind of got our ass kicked in that other one. So, yeah, look at us kicking ass, taking colonies, Oh yeah. So we have a Truth Seeker and a Paladin, they're both damaged, um, automatically explore, intercept fleets leaving orbit, and blockade start system if ruled by an enemy. We took this place, so let's get in here and see what we need to do. Um, no exploitation. So we need to do that. Evolve soils gives us plus um, food. Let's see. Cominent volcano is the anomaly. Blue cap mold. We don't have adaptive colonies yet, so we can't do a survey of the moon. That gives us plus dust, and that gives us plus one, um, oh sorry, I got distracted by the little ship flying, <laughs> plus one, um, work, or industry, and that gives us plus one science. Well, you know, I think food is probably where we want to go, using lessons from hardy strains, blah, blah, blah. Let's go with that one. That's going to be our exploitation for now. We need to get our population to grow. Actually, let's go back in here and let's just have you build another paladin. Um, and then switch to science after you do that. And we, we need to find out when we're going to do our adaptive colony. Is our empire sad? Is that what that means? Are we unhappy? We have no heroes. Population of 1. Approval or tax rate 75%. Rebellion percentage of 0. We have no dust. No resources, no luxuries. But I don't see where people are unhappy. We're just broke as fuck. And what is this? Atmospheric filtration, warp drive, colonized gas giants. So where's adaptive colonies? I know that we're supposed to go there. There's adaptive colonies. So we're on our way to adaptive colonies. That's fine. Okay. Um... Let's see, you can't jump there because we don't have the warp drives. And we can't colonize on, um... Was it... Alawith? Yeah, I want to get there, but I can't colonize it yet. It's, uh, barren planets. So we want to we wanna be able to do that soon. Okay, what's this? Colonization event summary. Okay. Um, it seems that you are not the first sentient beings on the planet, though judging by the remains of the previous inhabitants, died warring knee-deep in their own population. Well, that's sad. You guys should get along. Minus two food on planet, plus one industry and plus one science. Minus two food for 20 turns. Uh, we got to clear away all the bodies. Okay. Um, enter. So we're just we're kind of waiting for some stuff to get finished. I'd like to build another missionary ship if I could. Let's let's queue up two of those. It's gonna cost us dust. We should probably queue up some of those for the future. Um, uh oh, you were not alone. Ooh, tentacle. Uh, beginnings. Is that supposed to be beings? Oh, beginnings are delicate things. I just could not get past that opening word. Friend or foe, ally or enemy, you have made contact with another spacefaring race. Treat them as you would have them treat you. Okay, cool. Who do we meet? You have encountered the Pilgrim's Empire. Fantastic, we've got a friend. Uh, diplomatic status shows your diplomatic status to their empires and lets you contact them to make or break agreements. Okay. Uh, when you open this view... You, as the Emperor, are in the center, represented by holographic figures, and you are surrounded by other people. 
Um, they'll be empty until you make contact. Your statics of other empires are shown in the line radius. Attitudes are on the center display. And you can click on another empire. And with empire selected, you can do stuff. Once you select it, you can click contact icon to open negotiations. So we've met these guys. We don't know who these guys are. Um, let's. Once you've contacted the Empire Diplomatic Negotiation Panel, it opens a deal. You could switch between different categories, items that you can select, offer. Okay. So it's it's pretty similar, but he's just me. I don't want to declare war. Okay. Um. I don't have anything to offer, so have a good day. Bye. Oh, they're they're in that star system with me. Oh my. Okay. Uh, you can't have that star system. It's mine. Hopefully they don't actually take that star system because then we would go to war. What are you working on? My missionary ship? Good enough. Let's move. Where did they go? I've lost them. Well, we own that, so let's have him go over there. See if we can't find where they went. Unless they have warp technology already and they've jumped. Which is possible. But I don't want them taking anything in my direct sphere of influence because that's mine. You get out of here, you son of a bitch. Alright, make your move. Okay. Intern. Oh, he's in my home colony. Oh, he's going towards Aloth. I need Aloth. That's mine. Get out of here. Let's see. That's barren and small and lava. Uh, how do I colonize barren planets and when can I get that? Um, let's see, that colonizes lava planets. That's gas giant improvement. That colonizes asteroids, which is awesome. Barren planet colonization. Okay, well I'm way off from that tech. And they're flying somewhere else. I don't understand where they're going. So we're going to have you go there. We're just going to try to follow them around a little bit. Because I really don't want them, you know, establishing a foothold in my territory if I can help it. I'm not sure that I can. There we go. Research complete. All right. First step in purifying and preparing planets for colonization or terraforming Colon uh, consists of reducing toxic elements in the atmosphere and creating tolerable chemical balances. Recent scientific advances mean that these processes can be applied to gas giants. Woohoo! Um, adaptive colonies is what we're doing next. Okay, so we're, we're going to there. Can I then queue up that one as well? I can. Um... Then we'll just do that. And then I need to start getting out of this tech tree and like into some of these techs, I think. Okay. Um, unfettered movement. With the technology you have unlocked, you are no longer constrained by cosmic strings and wormholes. Your only in limit, uh, limit is ambition. Does that mean I can just jump to these places now? I can. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, we can dismiss that. There's nothing to colonize there. We cannot colonize anything there. We could colonize here. And we can colonize... Um, was it there? Mm, we do have colonizable planets there, actually. No, I want to see the star system. Okay, well, you just take up that spot then. Okay, what's this? Um, completed constructions. Fantastic. You take your trip. 
You're over there. Let's have you just fly over here. Cancer, we could not... Or we can colonize on all those now, too. Um, oh yeah, we could do um, a different exploitation now, can't we? Adaptive colonies. Oh no, wait, that's what we're working on now. Never mind. Okay, so we can't do those yet. Can we do anything special over here? Um, nope, but look at our civilization making some stuff. That's cool. That's really cool. Love to look at that. Colonizable. We can colonize that. Colonize the helium giant. Okay, well we're gonna, we're gonna. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on. I want to take that out. Okay, there we go. Go. So we're making money, which is great. New interactive galactic event. Okay. Um, concrete wreck. It is unlikely, or unthinkably ancient, so old that even the energy systems of the Endless have finally run down. Careful exploration and exploitation of this wreck is difficult, but the potential benefits are unquestionably worth it. Uh, the wreck is of advanced Endless technology and much of its systems were built with dust. Recycling this would generate more wealth than years of more risky and difficult investment, plus 150 dust. A new colony ship is created on the player's latest colonized system. Uh, ancient cloning techniques appears to be one of the major cargoes. Careful extraction of technology and data could well lead you to additional citizens. Um, time and money are limited. The smartest thing to do is pillage what you can from the wreck and then destroy it so no others uh, might find it. The cheapest technology is discovered. Hmm. Hold on, let's look at what our cheap tech is. Um We've we've got a few techs that we could that we could get fairly cheaply, like the the um arid planet colonization or um, unstable isotopes which gives us uh, ion torpedoes and offensive chaffs as well as HE batteries all things that I want to get into especially this weapon tree and this um it's not really weapons it's more of enhancements tree hmm do I go for the colony ship and go for a fast expand or do I go for the tech? Um, you know what, I'm gonna go for the colony ship. Okay, I have no idea where that, that showed up. I think it showed up here, didn't it? Or it's going to show up there, isn't it? I don't know. Let's just, let's just see how this goes. Okay. That is... Um... Our new colony ship. Very cool. A new colony ship is there. Fantastic. Okay, so I don't know where I want to go to colonize, though. Let's have you guys... Um, can I merge you? Click, click. Control click, maybe? No. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Control click did work. Merge. Okay. So let's see. Baton is colonizable. What are you? You are not colonizable. And you're not colonizable. If I can colonize Baton, though, it would cut off easy colonization. I think I'm going to do that. Let's go. Alright, process your moves, let's see what happens. We'll end our turn. Adaptive Colonies is still going. Um, 57 turns until Adaptive Colonies is done? Really? 57 turns? That's way too long. Um, let's actually reset our tech 
to there and then um, let's get some of these core techs out of the way too because like 57 colony or er, turns is just like crazy long and then we'll go back to adaptive colonies because I need to actually make some progress and let's end our turn I hope you don't die. Go ahead and make your, your move there. Okay, well you didn't die. We should get an event though, shouldn't we? Well, those are all colonizable planets. Wow. That's actually not bad. Some of those have really good sciences. Hmm. Do I colonize there? It's really far away. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and colonize here. Um, large tundra, poor soil, no food, but we get good science. Let's go with the balanced one. Um, exploration has its hazards and its rewards. Here, at least, a ship touches down safely and a new life begins, though the act of colonization is often far less simple. Plus 10 approval on star system Baton. Nice. They always be a baiting. Alright, let's have you begin working on... Um, let's go more food. I seem to really prefer going food. And then... Just drop a couple of ships. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have you... Uh, let's go there. Let's do some exploring. This could be good, could be bad. We'll have to find out. Okay, and... We've completed a construction, and we have a new technology. Um, arid planets can now be colonized. Those are barren, not arid. Those are arid that I can colonize. Cool. And you're getting close to landing. Let's go ahead and have you do that. Oh! What is that? Uncharted star system. Wow, look at this. Hostile dust. This planet type can be colonized but the star system does not yet belong to you. What is... What's going on here? That is a cool planet. Mundane artifacts. Oh, that is so cool. Kessler Syndrome? An odd remnant of the past lost civilization. The upper atmosphere of this planet is full of drifting debris. The cost to remove these remnants and space-based experiments, as well as satellites, must either be expensively protected or often replaced. And then the atmosphere shows unusually high traces of dust, and that dust shows a tendency to communicate and network to the detriment of your systems. While this does not prevent colonization of the planet, it will make industrial exploitation difficult until a permanent solution can be found. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Dust load. Okay, um... So we have like some really good dust planets here. Like this one would just give us just a ton of money. Well, somebody won the starting star system. Let's go to the super giant there. Uh, we can't colonize any of these planets just yet because we don't have the influence with it. But our influence is spreading, as you can see. So we'll let him land there. What's going on in here? Some colonizable planets there. And some resources. Um, let's see, where are we? We're two turns away from some more tech? Alright, let's get some tech up. Alright. We have some more ships being made. Which is going to affect my dust produ uh, pro uh, production. Words, they're hard. Okay, uh, resource discovered. Uh, poor deposit 
on an uncolonized planet in Baton 1, titanium has been discovered. Okay. So we have titanium over here, mineral poor, and no exploitation set up here. Yeah, we're in the progress of getting that, don't worry about it. Actually, I should switch that to industry since we're going so slow. No, leave it at food. 44 turns. Though, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so we actually have a strategic resource. Oh, we have an event. Seeking the origins, a great movement of peoples is pulling together based on the rumor that the Pilgrim Scout discovered Tor, a fabled homeworld of the Endless. Whether it is Tor or not cannot be verified, but a vast Endless infrastructure seems to be waiting. For those, uh, if those are Endless ruins, we certainly, we will certainly be interested in technologies to be had. Perhaps a small sum investing. Uh, in the outfitting of the expedition, that's a thousand gold that we don't have, but we get ran random technology. A uh, few people have encouraged your strength to follow their dreams. This effort is admirable, and exploration should be encouraged. A kindly emperor would help defray the cost of the expense. Plus 50 approval. Uh, minus 25, plus 5 empire. Fools can work hard with anybody else. Why not wait a few colonization vessels? Of these starry eyed dreamers and put them to work building your empire. Uh, we're gonna go with this one since we're gonna do one of those. That's gonna cost us all sorts of money and problems. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, we should have given that guy some orders. And we're broke again. Fantastic. Uh, let's have you come back here. When technology gets discovered, what do we get? Unstable isotope. High nuclear mass materials have been artificially created, not necessarily stable. Technology to contain and exploit them has practical um, applications. Fantastic. Getting a lot of these base technologies taken care of. Let's make your move. End our turn. We should have another ship coming up. Hey, we got some gold production. I guess it didn't just absolutely destroy my gold production. There we go. Um, we have a missionary here. Ooh, we should... What'd I do? Did I kill my missionary on accident? Oh no, I created a fleet with him. Okay. As long as I didn't kill my missionary. So you can't colonize there. I could colonize you and you have such good planets. Like the dust load. Do we really want to spread that far that quickly though? Ooh, we have titanium there. Let's go there and get the titanium from that planet. Ah, oh, shit. There's pirates. Oh man, that dude's fucked. Um, you need to go. You just really need to go. Um, missionary. Retreat. And retreat. And retreat. Auto. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect you to win. I didn't expect there to be pirates either. You never expect the pirates. Go home. Oh, look, the Horatio Empire. Alright, cool. Very good. Um, let's go in and see if we can't do some stuff for our ships. How do we... How do we do that? Is it ship design here? Available ship designs? The Truth Seeker? Let's modify the Truth Seeker. Deflector shields, we already have. Can we give you missiles? Oh, we can give you missiles and we can give you flak? Oh, yeah. Let's see that. Okay, apply. Can I retrofit them? Upgrade. Yeah. Okay, that helps. Not a ton, but it helps. Four ships automatically and upgraded in construction queue using True Seeker Design 2. Was well, True Seeker. Fantastic. Um 
Oh, you're the guys that I met. Welcome to my system, I guess? Enjoy your stay, don't be dicks. Just try not to murder me, that'd be great. You don't get to have a loif. I need that. Uh, okay, we've got HE batteries and Xenology is, is up next. Make your move. End your turn. So I've got to kill those guys. Because I would like to get some resources. But I'd like to see if I can't just go ahead and merge this fleet in with this one. Because my guys are pretty freaking weak. And I never expect pirates. They're like the Spanish Inquisition. You just don't expect them to show up. But there they are. Goddamn pirates. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to, like, block pirates. Resource discovered. Oh, nice. We have... We have some on Baton. Nice. And some on Boran. Blue Cat Mold. Oh, good. So we're getting all sorts of good stuff now that we're doing some basic research. Funny how that works. Okay, let's go there. You're headed home with your Paladin and your Truth Seeker. Okay, let's go there. Um, you can do nothing, can you? Alright, well we've got exploration there. That's for your exploitation though. Ah, there we go. We can do some we can build new things now. Yay! Xenotourism. Um, that's not what I meant. Come on. You can just go away. No, give me Xenotourism. Alright. There we go. And then I would like to add... Why do I keep doing that? Get out of there. Okay, so we're... We can't afford you, and we can't afford you. <laughs> 999 turns just isn't going to work for me. Thanks for, for playing, though. So as Baton is set up, uh, we're going to kill you and kill you and bring in you guys. Because we just don't have the production to do my Truth Seekers, apparently. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a missionary. Okay. Um... A time-space anomaly yields a ship. A new colony ship has entered the player's last colonized system. Side effect of, use of the use of powerful ship motors is that we don't really know what precisely happens to the fabric of space-time, and so we get a free colony ship to replace the one that got nuked by those pirates. Fantastic. Where'd the pirates go? Um, fantastic. Get on that, Baden. Um, the next logical step is peace, and delegates agree that you are a people that we can trust. The pilgrims note your peaceful relations and propose a treaty. Um, offer peace, and we get stuff. Sure. I'll take that. I'll take that every day. And all day, every day. Okay, I want you to go there. Uh, open borders and they'll give me atmospheric engineering fucking a come on in just come right on in I'd atmospheric engineering for that hell yeah um didn't we have like some ships over here yeah you guys uh where did my other crew go? Did they make it, or did they just come over here? Oh, they're both my fleets are over there, so let's just have you fly over here. Let's have you fly over there. Hopefully the pirates don't come back, because I didn't even think about that. Alright, there they are. Now these are blockaded. Approaching an enemy fleet. Okay, let's have you guys go with deflector efficiency short circuit and tactics and we're going to auto that 
And we won, and we took some damage, but we, we kicked the shit out of them and rescued that system. So let's have you go there, and we're going to colonize that one. Right? I kind of want to colonize that one. Metallic waters, though. Plus one ten or plus ten approval, plus one per. Oh yeah, we're we're not colonizing this one. We're colonizing Lahat. And hoarding systems. As pilgrims are people accustomed to scarcity, they put a great deal of thought into developing systems that preserve goods in case of sophisticated energy fields are adapted. Yay! Fantastic. Okay, well you are now going there. You're going there. And those guys have open borders, so they're fine. Alright. Building some ships. Oh, did they colonize that? You son of a bitch! You colonized it. Oh, you're a piece of shit. You're on my short list to just punch in the dick. Go back. God damn it. Okay, so we're going to be colonizing Desert Worlds next. Don't you dare fucking colonize that. It would be very, very miffed if you colonize that. Okay, good. Go there. Okay, we're gonna colonize here. Um, we want to colonize a planet with um, hostile fauna. What happened? Hold on. Uh, there's another Pilgrim's Empire. Good lord. Um, allows for new developments in linked systems. Okay, cool. So we have a colony there. I would like to get a colony ship together to take this system because apparently it doesn't matter if I'm there or not. Uh, you go there. Let's put our foot down. Maybe they won't colonize this one. I don't know what they have other than just a, a knack for annoying the fuck out of me. Can I... Can I afford to build a couple more missionaries? I can. How about a true seeker too? Yeah. We'll throw a couple extra ships on the Barbie and get going. So far it looks like we're doing alright. I'm still not 100% sure as to what's going on. These guys just keep bouncing back and forth. Um, I'm worried that these guys are going to try to come in here and shit all over my plans to colonize that. Oh, look at that. What is this? Oh, you son of a bitch. His sphere of influence is just huge. Stay out of there. That's my planet. Man, I don't like this at all. I gotta be peaceful with them. Uh, trade eight dust per turn. You're a trustworthy people. We don't mind doing business with you. They'll give me um, some titanium. Hey, I was reading that. I hope I didn't agree to that because I wasn't ready to do that. Okay, so we're back to adaptive colonies. And you need something to do. Build me a couple of missionaries and some truth seekers. Because you don't have anything else in the system to build. Okay, there we go. In turn. Okay, we, we really need to get like our colony, or our, uh, not colony, but our... Uh, industry influence up. So we're gonna move to colonize another planet as soon as this uh, ship is built in two more turns. I'm really annoyed that they took Lahat. 
and I don't want them to take uh, Pictor. Alright, so we've got another ship built, and we're colonizing a planet. And they're working on another ship. I'm hoping that since my people are there, they won't be able to colonize that planet. Maybe I should do like a blockade? Oh, they're encroaching on my territory! Attacks enemy fleets and star systems. Uh, intercepts leaving orbit. Blockade star system if ruled by an enemy. Um, I don't know. I think I just wait. Um, I don't like that their sphere of influence is pressing so hard on here. So I definitely want to get colonization done and just kind of lock in this system. Because I think the colonization is about to be done. How long? Four turns? Alright, we'll go until this colonization is done. Just to figure out what we're doing. How did they get their damn sphere of influence to grow so quickly? That's ridiculous! Um, why would I give you my mold? Refuse. No, I'm not just going to give you mold. Offer peace and they'll give me that for two turns, except... Yeah, I'll take peace. I, they, they shrunk back a little bit, which I'm happy with. Um, hey, I was going to accept that. I don't know why that goes away sometimes. Um, but right now it looks like he's stuck, that's why he's going back and forth because he doesn't have open borders, which I think is hilarious. New build deal proposed by pilgrims, open borders, except, get out of here. So yeah, I think these guys are trapped, that's why they're moving back and forth like that. I'm okay with that. Ah, we grew a little bit. Push back against the green menace. Fantastic. Dismiss. That means we have another planet that we can then work on. We have no food, so we really need to do this one. Like, as soon as possible. Because they're going to be very hungry. In fact, we need to move that way up the list here. Maybe put that one... Oh, no, 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 put it back. Put it back. We want this one above the ships. That's all we want. There we are. Just put it right up here. Here we go. That's perfect. All right, so now we've got that colonized and some exploitation starting. Just a couple more turns. We're doing all right. We're, we're shrinking. Um... Boria does not like making ships. Let's let's slow down on the missionary ships since that's that takes population and let's do um let's set you up to do dust after you do that. Because I don't think there's anything else we can do. Alien grafting. We're working on adaptive colonies. We do have another missionary fleet that we can set up. Uh, control click create okay and you guys could colonize cancer system over here low gravity and according towards I think gravity is most notable this has the advantage industrial production makes kids really really happy I like happy kids but this this place like we could do a lot of work and that gives us 20 dust let's go ahead and, and colonize the cancer system Invasion started. Horatio started to invade your system of Kura. Why? Get over there and stop them. What are they doing? What the hell do you think you're doing? Do I have a fleet in here? No, I have a, a paladin and a missionary. Alright, I want the paladin. Um, I don't know. Go over there. 
you go over here. Can I... Can you please? Will you go over there? No? Okay. We'll just end our turn then. They're taking my damn system away. That's not cool. You... Fly over there. I thought we were peaceful, and it turns out we are not. Okay, can you colonize any planets in there? We can. This is the system we wanted. Colonize that shit. Small lava. Uh, congratulations on the first settlement. An advanced difficult planet type. It's doorway to greater riches, and of course greater risks. And a system that holds famous planet Irriga has been colonized. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get you some food. And then we're going to get you that. And endothermic improvements. And then dust. Okay, so we, we canceled out their invasion of our star system, it looks like. Sons of bitches. Let's have you go there. Who was moving? You were moving. Okay, you go ahead and colonize. We want you to colonize that one. Ah, uh, wow. With new colonization, knowledge of archaeology progresses. You even discover ruins that do not seem to belong to Endless, but to other lost people. Uh, plus 40 on star system cancer. Nice. Okay, let's get your exploitation set up. We need food. So we're going to definitely want to do that. And then we need sustainability. That one and that one. And... In turn. Yes. I am addicted to the one more turn philosophy of life in this game. And I'm okay with that. Alright, one more turn. <laughs> Fuck you guys invading my system. I don't think I don't know what you're doing. Does that mean that I can't move into there because they're blocking it? I think that's what that means. So does that mean I can invade their system? Baiting. You guys are done with all your work? No, you're not done with all your work. Um, colonizable. Colonize the Arctic. Colonizable. Colonize the Arid. Alright. And then, um, let's go ahead and have you get on some science. And then you, that's barren, not arid, okay. Let's have you guys fly over there. So if they invaded me, does that mean I can invade them? Because if so, I'm going to invade them. If it doesn't cause war. Ah, fantastic. That's done. So... Invading enemy star system, this fleet is orbiting. It does not create war. Okay, I don't have any troops or anything, but I've, I've started an invasion. And let's see what happens. I have no idea what happens. Done. Great. Okay. Um they're overwhelmingly defeating me. Um let's go Let's let's go here like that. And let's see if we can win. Let's auto it. Oh, we won! Holy crap, we actually beat them. Wow. That's funny. 
Um, let's go reinforce them. You can't leave there, though. Fuck it, you kind of have to. Um, okay. We're gonna have you retreat and auto. I think we're gonna lose them. Yeah, cancel that movement and cancel your movement. Okay, you guys have finished some shippage. Their ships are so damn strong though. Oh, look at this crap! What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do about this? Oh man, they're eating my my culture. That's not good. Okay, I can actually uh, create and then go out here and merge them for a larger fleet, and then I can create out of you guys and have you go here and then merge you guys and then we're gonna have you as one big fleet move there all right take your moves adaptive colonies fantastic now that we have adaptive colonies um I can take the moon survey and throw it on the list. And I can come in here. And we can do a moon survey. Right there. Okay. And then in here, we can add moon survey to the list. And moon survey to the list. I don't know if I'm just wasting my time doing this, because we might be losing these planets, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're co working on colonizing that one, and we don't have a moon survey to do on that one. And we're working on colonizing this one as well. Okay. All right, so we're going to wrap this up here. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. I believe that we are losing our... Um, oh, shit, I should select technology. We're losing our territory due to these aggressive ass bags. Um, we want... Let's see, we've already researched that one. And we want... What is this one? Second warp gen. Wormhole hyperspace. You know what? We're not going to get there anytime soon. Let's go with... Um, what's this one? Let's go ahead and start working towards Baron. So that we can... Can get towards that. He's going to land in there. We're going to in turn. What do you want? Why would I agree to that? Ah, oh, really? And he's still so powerful. Hold on, let's go here. We're going to accept it. Have some blue mold. Um, I'm going to do... Wait, what is that one? Minus 20% beam weapons. Minus 20% anti. Let's go there. Wait, what is that one's for melee, isn't it? Which one's melee specific? Okay, um. Let's, let's do that. I guess we will, um auto it it's not gonna go well but we, we survived well this isn't good why don't you get out of there auto 
fine. There's nothing I could do about that. He just kept attacking. Uh, 17 deaths per turn for that? Sure. I can afford that. You possess at least four units of antimatter. Yay! You possess at least four units of titanium. Yay! Yay! We've colonized. This is going very poorly with these guys. So there we go. I'm going to wrap it up here again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, storm in the comment section below. Any help is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.